what up youtube i'm back so this was probably my favorite episode of the season this season has been underwhelming for me because i've heard a lot of great things and i've heard that the overhaul arc was amazing and i, and I think it's pretty good you know but i think it's been overhyped in my opinion you know but this week's episode i thought was really really good and next week's episode it seems like is gonna be something else you know so i can't wait for that but yeah man i really like this week's episode everything that was going on with deku overhaul uh you know eraser head there was a lot of things that i like so let's get right to it so we all know that the League of Villains aren't that serious about their partnership with the Hasaikai. We saw what Toga and Twice did today. They basically bailed on the Hasaikai. You know, that was kind of funny. They basically want the heroes and the Hasaikai to destroy each other so that at the end, the League of Villains will be at the top. So that's pretty smart, but they didn't do anything in this week's episode. I'm guessing that at the end of this arc, they will have done something. I'm not really sure, but Toga wanted to stay, you know, so we'll see what's going to happen with that. Anyway, in last week's episode, we saw it was a Mirio versus Overhaul fight, and Mirio was, in my opinion, stronger, you know, and even Overhaul said it in this week's episode that he was actually stronger. The only reason that he was able to defeat Mirio was because of the drug that they're using by, you know, destroying and, you know, remaking Eri, you know. That's how they defeated Mirio. But, uh, yeah, man, it was a pretty cool episode. There was a lot of slideshows, so that kind of ruined it a little bit. But, you know, it was a big moment for Mirio, and I really liked it. But, anyway, at the end of that episode last week, we saw that Deku arrived at the scene, so we knew that there was going to be a fight between Overhaul and Deku, but we didn't know that uh, Eraserhead and uh, Night Eye were right behind him, you know, so I was pleasantly surprised that these two were with Deku. I really like the moment where Night Eye has Mirio and Eri in his arms, you know, especially Mirio because he's been doing a lot of things he fought overhaul by himself he spent you know he's really injured and he has no quirk anymore so that scene right there i thought was really really emotional especially for night eye and mirio you know and even later in the episode when night eye realized that they used that drug on mirio and that he can't use his quirk anymore his reaction was really emotional, you know, so their relationship, uh, I think uh, they have a really, really good bond, you know, and that's what I, one of the things that I liked about this episode. Anyway, man, we need to talk about Overhaul because he did something in this week's episode that is incredible that I didn't know he could do, that it could be done, but because of his quirk, because he can destroy and remake whatever he wants, it's basically alchemy, I mean, you know, like in Full Metal Alchemist, but because he can do that, uh, he was able to kind of fuse with one of his subordinates, you know, so I guess he was basically destroying himself and the subordinates so that he could, you know, fuse, uh, them two together and that created kind of a super quirk you know he was able to use the quirk that that other guy had plus his own quirk you know so that was kind of badass i didn't know that overhaul could do something like that you know that's pretty impressive i should have thought of it but i didn't but yeah man there's a lot more to overhaul's quirk that we saw you know before this episode so that's why i was you know kind of surprised you know they did i think a good job of you know um making his quirk like that so that he can do multiple things and you know yeah they really did a good job on that so obviously at the beginning of the fight eraser head was there with deku and night eye but because of that guy right here harry kurono uh, his quirk is chronostasis and everyone that he touches with with basically his hair i think he can manipulate his hair whatever he touches you know slows down you know so that's a pretty handy quirk man i really like it but he used it on eraser head and it seems like they want to capture eraser head because he can erase other people's quirk and that's what 
overhaul really likes you know that's why he has airy that's why i guess they want to capture eraser head so that's quite interesting i'm wondering if they'll be able to capture him uh, and then uh, you know escape or if the heroes will be able to win that battle you know that's going to be interesting because eraser head was quote unquote captured and that mirio was out of commission it was night high's turn to go up against uh, overhaul you know he said to deku to go protect mirio and eri so that uh, night high can fight overhaul and it didn't go well you know um, there was a lot of doubt in night high's uh, mind in his head because of everything that has happened to him since you know the all might incident because he can see the future and he can change it even if he can see it you know so uh there's a lot of things on his mind and you know he saw the future in this fight he saw that him and they could died against overhaul you know so uh, i guess maybe i know that he's he isn't physically strong like uh mirio or deku but i guess that because um he had all of this in his head it was you know a negative impact on him when he was going up against overhaul you know so i thought that was an interesting part of the episode i'm wondering if he was more confident in that would he be able to beat overhaul you know because like i said he isn't physically strong but he has items that he can use against the villains uh, that maybe can help him you know defeat them but yeah he basically said that him and deku were gonna die in that battle you know so i guess he kind of gave up i'm not really sure that's how i saw it but uh, obviously deku he's the hero of the story we all know that he's not dying right there but you know it was kind of cool to see him after uh night i was defeated by overhaul it was kind of cool to see him go up against overhaul because we know that Deku, he's something special, man. All of his fights are amazing, and that fight against Overhaul was going to be even harder than any other fight that he's been part of, you know. And we saw it, he wasn't really able to, you know, get a punch in or even uh, a kick in against Overhaul, you know. It was really, really hard. And, you know, Overhaul can use his quirk as creation or destruction, and we saw it again in this week's episode he uses it like i said a lot like alchemy and full metal alchemist so that i think was is pretty interesting but uh deku actually did something pretty special today man he did uh manchester cake so obviously manchester is in england it's a city in england if you've ever heard of manchester united it's a soccer or football you know team uh, that's how i know it i i really like soccer so uh, manchester is a city in england but yeah he used a manchester kick a manchester smash that i thought was pretty cool but because the only city i think that we we've, we've heard deku use is the short smash you know so i thought it was pretty interesting that he used another city you know and, and not an american city uh england city so i thought that was pretty cool and he used it at 20 percent he decided to use 20 percent of his uh one for all um core that was pretty interesting in my opinion because i think that's the first time he used five percent for most of the series then he's used eight percent against bakugo and now he's used 20 percent against overhaul you know so i thought that was pretty cool obviously he wasn't able to hit overhaul with his manchester smash overhaul was able to dodge it but you know that it's the thoughts that count i really liked it but uh yeah man um something that is pretty interesting is that one of his braces on his arm was destroyed by overhaul's quirk so the title of next week's episode is uh, you know pretty interesting and we're going to talk about it later in that review but i think that maybe uh deku will lose an arm or lose some more ligaments you know because he's not supposed to use his quirk at full power with his is his arms without you know training you know he needs to train way more than that so that his arm his body is able to support all that power you know 
but anyway we saw a flashback with overhaul and eri we learned something pretty interesting about eri and we learned that she's the granddaughter of overhaul's boss you know the boss of the hasai kai before overhaul so that's really really interesting but in the flashback we saw how you know overhaul was using her he was you know we all know he was breaking her and then repair repairing her you know heal her so that he can you know use her cork her blood for the bullets you know her dna so that was terrible that was you know yeah it was terrible man we could see her arm you know uh, injured we can see we can see the blood and everything so that was awful man it was pretty pretty bad but i think it was an interesting flashback and uh, overhaul has been manipulating Eri a lot you know he's been saying that the reason why everyone is getting hurt around her is because of her and that's why she doesn't want you know to leave by herself that's why she returned in this week's episode because she feels like she's the reason why everyone is getting hurt and you know that's pretty smart of overhaul to do you know because she she's a child she doesn't know any better so she really thinks that she's the reason that she's the problem you know so overhaul is doing a good job of controlling her and manipulating her but yeah man hopefully deku will be able to you know save her heart in next week's episode you know because next week's episode is called uh one in 100 percent infinity or infinity 100 percent something like that so it seems like deku will use 100 percent of his power which is pretty uh, bad you know it's pretty uh it's pretty interesting because i'm pretty scared of what's gonna happen to deku because of him using 100 percent because his body is not ready yet man he, he's using 20% right now, but I still think his body is not ready for uh, full power uh, one, one for all, you know. So I, I kind of, I'm kind of interesting on, on what's going to happen in next week's episode. I think that maybe he's going to be hurt a lot, especially his right arm, you know, because he lost his braces on it. So that's pretty interesting, man. So I can't wait for next week's episode. I think it's going to be the best episode of the arc, so I can't wait. But let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen next. Uh, it was pretty good and I can't wait. Um, I do Boku no Hero Academia Season 4 reviews every Saturday morning, so subscribe for that. But I also do other anime related things like backloving reviews on Tuesdays. Like I said, Boku no Hero Academia on Saturdays. Then I do... So not online, Alicization War of Underworld at noon on Saturdays too. And then later that day at night, I do One Piece reviews. So stay tuned for all of that. If there's some animes that you want me to review, let me know in the comments down below. Follow me at Anime Specialist on Twitter and Instagram. And like, comment, subscribe. It would help my channel a lot, man. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.